Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone's doing really, really well today. It's Friday. I'm going to attempt to get this video up on the same day that I'm filming it, which actually rarely ever happens um, for me, but actually, um, Link is in school and Tim took Salem and Honor to Disneyland today. So it's just me and baby girl home all day today, which is actually just really, really calming. Um, I don't know. It's, it's nice. Now that we have four kids, it's kind of nice to be able to focus on like just one person's needs. Well, I guess besides your own. I don't know when the last time it is that I've just been able to focus on my own needs, but <laughs> one other person besides myself's needs. So that's nice. She's sleeping right now. And so I'm going to film a haul. I feel like I haven't done one of these in forever, because, probably because I really haven't been doing that much shopping lately, besides what, you know, the collections that I've been purchasing for review. Speaking of collections, um, I did mention on Instagram, not on my personal Instagram, but somebody else that was wondering that I am going to be reviewing the upcoming, well, it, actually it's already out for purchase, I'll tell you where I purchased it in a second, the um, OPI Starlight Collection, it's actually made up of 18 polishes. Um, six of which you can find at your Sally Beauty. They're going to be actually putting it out display, they told me, in mid-November. But I was actually able to purchase some polishes from there, but they are retailing at full price there for Sally's, which is like $8.99. But I did also find them on Ulta's website for $9.50 a bottle. However, right now, like right, right now, they um, are buy two, get one free. So that's actually, if I would have purchased them all there instead of any of them at Sally's, I actually would have saved about 20 bucks. So that's actually a really good deal if you were thinking about purchasing any of those. But because um, shipping, because they're not going to ship it um, airmail, they're going to have to ground mail, it's not going to get to me still when you're watching this still for probably like six or seven days. So I probably won't have that. I don't know. I don't know how long the Ulta sale is going to be going on for. I know this isn't haul related, but I just wanted to let you know that that sale is on there in case you want to pick any up. But I will be having my live application review of that whole collection as soon as I can get my hands on it. So I have my hands on six of them. I've been playing with them, but I'm still waiting for two thirds of the whole collection. It is heavily like metallic based there are some glitters in there and then they also have some reds and purples and like some cool like um blue cosmo -y things here i'll give you a little sneak peek of what i have right here surprise i wasn't planning on doing this um so anyway the stuff that the ones you can find at sally's um they have like this nice red love is in my cards and then they have this cool like shimmering midnight blue give me space the other thing that i thought was cool about this collection is because they have um nail polishes with the name or with the word moon in it so it's fun for me this one's called romance the moon and it's more of like a deep scarlet luster polish so they didn't have any of the actual glitters at sally's um they have shimmers there anyway this one i think is my favorite out of the ones you can find at Sally's, it's called Cosmo with a twist, and it's like a purple, blue shimmer, and there's got like some gold in there too. This one looks really, really cool. Um, then they have this deep burgundy, Guys and Galaxies, and then um, this one's called I'm in the Moon for Love, and it's like a really pretty um, kind of, what is this color? It's like a deep violet kind of plum kind of a plum on the more plummy side because there's more pink in here um so anyway those are the ones you can find at sally's and then but all of them are at ulta so not at my personal ulta they didn't have them nothing you need to know about my personal ulta but you so you would have to wait for shipping if you go through ulta otherwise you could go bag your sally's to let you have just these six that they're gonna have but they're not gonna have any more is what they told me but just the six so anyway those are coming you know that was a really really long um thing about the opi collection but i know people are wondering about them and then um i'm also going to be reviewing the new opi uh, or excuse me i'm also going to be reviewing the new glitter uh collection it's an eight, eight piece collection from um china glaze and it's called like i think it's called the star hopping collection is that right i'll notate here if that's not right but um so usually I don't pick up glitter because I don't love glitter that much, but I decided to go ahead and snatch it and swatch it for you guys. So that um, is really exciting. I hope to have my hands on both of those within either by the end of next week, hopefully by the end of next week. Yeah, I think they're both set to arrive like next Friday or something. So 
I, I don't know. I'll be surprised if I'm able to get the OPI review up the same day that I get them in the mail. But I'm going to have it up as soon as possible for you. So anyway, that was really, really long. Um, I do actually get questions about the collections I put up here behind me. I had the Oil Slick Color Club collection up here for a while in case you had, were one of my viewers wondering what that was. And this is the China Glaze collection. The giant 12 piece China Glaze holiday collection, but the OPI collection is even more giant. It's 18 pieces. So anyway, um, lots and lots of polish. We're going to, I'm going to be hauling some mostly drugstore stuff today. Um, but then of course, you know, I like going to TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And it's just kind of a mishmash. It's mostly nail polish, but some other stuff in here too. So let's get started. I want to talk about this baby first. This is my uh, my Uber Chic Stampy Mat. Um, you've probably been seeing it in the close-up portion of some of my videos, especially the nail art ones. I have seen a lot of people talking about this, and I decided to go ahead and pick it up because it really wasn't that expensive. I think it was like fifteen dollars. So I wanted to pick it up because. Um, Tim gave me like a ton of stamping stuff when I first got interested in nail art a while ago, like three or more years ago when I was first starting to get interested in nail art. Um, before I became obsessed with nail polish, I was obsessed with nail art. And I still am obsessed with nail art, I just don't always have the time for it. But anyway, I don't stamp very much because I have, I have a hard time doing it, like I don't always get it on straight, I don't always get the transfer very well, but then I saw what people are doing with this uber uber chic stamping mat by the way i purchased this myself this is not a promotional thing i'm not promoting this for the brand um is you can like stamp on here they give you like these little spots for fingernails by the way my fingers are um, bare because i'm about to swatch for swatch fest but um you can you basically you can paint right onto these little nail images here and they have them all along the side too um, so that you know that it's basically going to fit in your nail. You cover it in base coat and then once that's dry you can stamp on it and um, and then once that's dry you can paint over it with like your acrylic paint or your regular paint and fill in the image and I, you can find on um, Instagram lots of like really quick tutorials and stuff like of how people are using this but um, I haven't actually tried that form yet. I um, Anyway, but, but let me finish explaining. Then you wait for it to dry and then you can peel it off and put it right onto your finger like a decal. So before this mat came out, basically people were doing the exact same thing, but they were using a um, like a plastic bag or like a piece of plastic, um, what, like plastic wrap or something on the table and then stamping on that. So it's the same thing basically, but this is just sturdier. It has like the spots where you can do the stuff and know what size it's gonna be and you know, it's something that you have, like this, that you can fold up and put away that's sturdier, that is not like a piece of plastic wrap where you're just like reusing it and it gets dirty and then, you, you know, you can store this easier, I think. So I thought it was a good purchase. So far, the only thing I've used it for, I have used it for a nice area for me to swatch because if you get nail polish on it, you just wait for it to dry and then you can just peel it off. But um, I've used it in one of my um, NFL tutorials that I actually haven't posted yet, the Steelers one, I use this and I basically paint right on this little nail form and then I wait for it to dry, peel it off and apply it to my nail and it was interesting. I have to say I did, I liked it better than painting on my nail because it's a flat surface and I could like really count on it to not to move, like my fingers sometimes move or whatever. However, the other, the the alternate um, thing I didn't like it as much be, was because um, it didn't, like when I went to go put it on my nail, I put it on and then kind of like a nail wrap, it had like little, um, like it didn't form exactly to my nail, so there were like little air pockets in there which you probably will see in the nail tutorial. But anyway, it was interesting. You do have to wait a while for it to dry on here. I did mess around with that for a couple times where it didn't peel off very well because it wasn't completely dry. So anyway, um, talked way long about that. That's something I purchased lately. Okay, so let's talk about, I'm gonna go over the few beauty products that I have and then um, most of the nail polish. I picked up some more lotion at Marshall's. This is a Jenna Hip Essential Nail and Hand Cream. Not that cool. Um, I'm gonna put some on right now. Not, I mean, it's cool. It's cool, all right, but <laughs> not that interesting because it's just hand cream. 
It doesn't really smell that nice, but um, I had kept seeing it at Marshall's and I decided to pick it up because it says it's nourishing therapy for dry skin and brittle nails and I'm always looking for more hand cream to have about. So anyway, there's that. Um, MUA Makeup Academy actually right now, so if you are seeing this today on Friday and the sales haven't changed yet for the weekend, um, the brand it's sold at CVS MUA Professional uh, Makeup Academy is buy one get one free. So they CVS rarely has sales like that. They sometimes have like a 40% clearance or something. I think Rite Aid has Rite Aid has right now a 40% clearance at L'Oreal, which I actually didn't find anything to splurge on right now. But in case you were wondering, they have that right now. If you're watching this on Friday, they still have it. So anyway, um, so I I had picked up this palette. It's their um, metallic eyeshadow palette, and it has these kind of shades here so I've actually I've actually really enjoyed this I was wearing this this green with a green from Colourpop in a couple videos last week I did a get ready with me using this kind of reddish brown which it's more brown than red by the way if you're wondering and then today I'm wearing these two purples here and I do really like this palette it retails for $14.50 um, and then buy one get one free so you could get like a whole nother palette for $14.50 or whatever they have three palettes. I do think that they repeat the colors throughout the different palettes. Like some of the browns and I think like this white is in at least another palette. Maybe all three. But, and I think the blue is also in the smoky palette. So just look at it and see. Anyway, from just looking at it, it seems like they repeat some of the colors. So if you're not into that. Um, anyway, when I was looking at that, I decided not to go ahead and buy the other palettes because I saw that there were some repeated colors. But I did pick up two more products from that brand. Um, when the sale came on. So basically I had bought this palette a couple weeks ago and then I saw the sale and decided to try two other things. So I um, picked up one of their long lasting liquid lipsticks in the shade Plum and they look like this. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. Oh, I hadn't opened this yet. It has like a it has like a painterly tip like a paintbrush tip but it's really tapered. So anyway, looks like that. It's a pretty color. I mean, obviously I picked it because I thought it was a pretty color. So anyway, I'm not sure what I think about this tip though. It's kind of, um, it's like really thin at the top and kind of stiff. So I don't know. I'll have to see whether I like that or not. But so anyway, there's that. And then I picked up their Intense Color Gel Liner in Chocolate Brown. And the image that the model is wearing right next to this shows that she's wearing it on her inner waterline. Um, but you know how the images don't always depict the actual product, like they say in magazines. <laughs> um, like with mascara, how and the uh, the models obviously wearing falsies. So anyway, um, I picked up this one. I hope I really like it. It's not a retractable liner, so you do have to sharpen it. Oh, but it feels really smooth and nice. So anyway, there's that. Um, yeah, it's not twist up, so you do have to sharpen that. Um, at the same time, I also picked up two more e.l.f. brushes. I really, since I'm sharing all of my makeup products now with my three-year-old, thinks she's 20-year-old daughter, um, my makeup brushes are definitely taking a beating. So I decided to replace a couple of my $2 elf brushes with a $3 elf brush. So I got another one of these. This is just the powder brush. Um, so I could do some all over face blending with this. And just I could just exclusively let her use my $2 elf set. As you probably noticed, I don't spend a lot of money on brushes. Um, so I got the angled blush, blush brush because she's also quite tortured my blush brush. So anyway, I picked those two up, $3 each at CVS. And they feel pretty nice. I also picked up um, some Ardell Hollywood Glam Double Up Styles. This is in 208 and I've seen actually a lot of um, beauty channels on YouTube, a lot of girls talking about doubling, using the double up lashes. And um, so anyway, I thought I'd give it a try. I've been in a pretty serious relationship with my Demi Wespies, that's what I have on today and what I basically almost always have on. Other styles usually feel too clumpy for me, like too heavy on my eyes, and make me feel too droopy. But um, I thought I'd give these a try. 
because I needed to grab some more lashes. I usually wear my lashes like three to four times before I check them. So at least the Ardell ones. Anyway, um, what else? I picked up a nail file at um, Sally. That's a really, really neat one. In fact, they need filing right now, so I'm probably going to use it in a second right before I swatch. Um, if you have noticed in a couple of my videos, I've been wearing this green clippy thing like constantly because I've just been throwing my hair up and not wanting to put it in the big rubber bands for some reason. It's just like hurting my head. So I've been like, okay, this is actually pretty tacky. Like it's nice for wearing at home. <laughs> so anyway, it inspired me to pick up some more clippies. I know, random products. I also picked up another mirror because my old one got busted. You know, when you're a mom of four, you pretty much have to know none of your stuff is safe. Like you pretty much have to be like, okay, I'm really not gonna care if this gets broken, right? So, I mean, we still do care, but we have to be okay with it. Sorry for that loud noise. So I just got another one of these because usually I'm holding up my thingy, my compact, not my compact, my um, eyeshadow palette mirror to see and so I thought it might be nice again to have something I could just stand on the table to be able to look at so let's see what else did I pick up um, I picked up two more lippy products and then the rest is nail polish so not actually that much left to show you sorry I know I was talking a lot earlier but let's see I saw these at Rite Aid and CVS and they were both buy one get one half off at both places so you could probably find them too. I actually hadn't seen anybody talking about these. Maybe I've just been out of it. But these are the Revlon Matte Ultra HD lip colors. It feels like they've put out something kind of recently similar to this, but these are like in these cool looking tubey things. So anyway, kind of cool. Um, at CVS they had every single shade and there was lots of different colors, but at Rite Aid they only had these two. So this one is called if I can find it, Addiction, this darker one, and this lighter one is called Temptation. Those are kind of similar, aren't they? Addiction and Temptation. Okay, so Addiction, we're gonna put, oh, this is going on kind of like thick, like frosting, and it has a very strong smell, by the way. Very strong. Um, and then I'm gonna swatch Temptation right next to it. Pretty. Really pretty. <laughs> These two colors, the one from MUA and Revlon, are actually really similar to my hand. Okay, so there's Addiction is this middle color. This was the MUA one, so here's Addiction, and then Temptation is above it. So anyway, those are nice. They feel really, really thick though, so I'll have to let you know one day when I'm wearing it. I'll be like, oh, by the way, I'm wearing it, and let you know what I think. But I do like the tubies. I can't lie. They're probably mostly the reason why I bought these. Because you know I have way too much lip products, so anyway. By the way, today I'm just wearing a lip pencil from ColourPop. I'll put it right here what it is, because I didn't bring it out here with me. Okay, all the rest of this is nail polish. Let me show you what we have to go over, and then you'll know how much longer you'll be sitting for. So this is what we're gonna go over, okay? And this. So we'll start with this thing because it's out of the package. This is called Two to Celebrate OPI. It's like a Coca-Cola duo and I saw it at Marshalls a million times and finally I just picked it up. Um, so it's Visions of Georgia Green. It's supposed to be the pearly and lightly sparkling inspired by the classic Coca-Cola bottle. And then Centennial Celebration, it's a shimmery pewter. So you have those two colors here. I just thought it was interesting. I passed it up a lot of times because I thought I have way too many like muted OPI colors but you know, you can only pass up things so many times sometimes before you're like, I'm going to buy you. Okay, so um, let's look at a few things from drugstore first. So, um, Simple Shine has like this uh, step two process display out and I didn't pick up any of the colors, but I did pick up their top coat because, you know, you don't always have to like use the first product that they have in there to have the same effect that like their gel like top coat from lots of different brands like from the right from Sally Hansen and Revlon their gel like top coats you can use them and not have to be using the first step so I decided to just pick up the gel like top coat I haven't used it yet but I'll let you guys know what I think about it because it's only two dollars so um, if it is actually really really nice that'd be good to know and save some money instead of buying these really expensive top coats 
Um, there is, let me see. Yeah, that's all from Simple Colors because I really haven't been inspired by Simple Colors lately, unfortunately. There, I've seen a couple of their new displays out and all of this looks like we promoted stuff and so I've just been like, mm. but I did pick up two colors um, from the limited edition bottles that's called like Wildcats or Wild something, but they have like a bunch of displays out right now. I picked up two of their nail polishes, which are in the old spoil bottles, by the way. And this one I picked up because of the color is just so gorgeous. It's called Los Feliz Navidad, and it's like a indigo purple and goldish green combination shimmer. This is so cool. I think I'm gonna put this in my swatch vest for this weekend so you can see it because. It looks so cool and I can't wait to see for myself what it's like. So I think you're going to see this tomorrow. And then I picked up this other one because of the name. Just because of the name. I couldn't help it. It's called Where My Ho Ho Ho's At. So that was just way too fun. I could not get it. It's basically just like a light lilac -y silver. Same kind of formula as this. Like heavy, heavy, shimmery, almost glitter just like really tight and glitter. So anyway, those two from Wet in the Wild. I picked up two polishes from Pure Ice. I never buy Pure Ice anymore because I never go into that side of Walmart anymore because my Walmart's cosmetic area is just a mess and you can't ever find anything. So anyway, I actually went over there the other day and they had these juicy matte finishes, which I haven't seen anything about. And I, again, I'm probably just not paying enough attention, but I picked up the orange and like the chartreuse green yellowish you decide which kind you think it is. Probably green, huh? So the orange is called Squeeze Me and the green is called Honey Do, Honey Don't. I was looking at it for a second there. I was like, I know they already have a polish called Honey Do, but this one's called Honey Do, Honey Don't. So we'll have to see how they do their, their mattes. I really love Pure Ice, as you know. I'm like a Pure Ice fiend, so um, yeah, I was excited to see that. Oh, I missed one beauty product. I was telling Jessica yesterday that I picked this up. Um, the star. I was gonna do a review um, on all the Star Wars nail polishes, but I noticed that a lot of them are just re-promoted shades, so I decided not to. But this nail polish looked really pretty. It is called Emerald Blaze, and they did previously release this, so they just slapped a Star Wars sticker on it for this release. But there's a Star Wars nail polish. Maybe I'll stick that in this weekend swatch vest. I lots to choose from right now, so we'll see. Maybe. But this is cool. It's like a green to. Uh, like blazed red, like a coppery red um, duochrome look effect in here. We'll have to see if it translates on the nail. And then I picked up one of their lippies. I picked up the one, it's 20. What's it called? It's not called Lucasfilm. It's not called Star Wars. Me. I don't see a name on it. Oh, guys. Well, it's number 20. I thought that they all had names. I watched a Laura Beauty's pre, uh, um, video on all of the lipsticks, and I thought they all had kind of generic names. But anyway, there is no name on this lipstick, so it's number 20 in any case. So anyway, it's the light lilac-y, um, like cool, like deadly lilac silver color, and I couldn't help myself because, you know. So it looks like this. Can you even see that? It's way over the aisle. So super, super light and like reflective looking, like almost opalescent. That was pretty cool. So we'll have to see if I actually ever wear this because I don't know where I could pull this off. But maybe I'll just send a picture to you, Jessica, of me wearing this. But it is pretty cool looking. So anyway. All right, let's move on. I did a Hot Look order. Um, as you saw in last Saturday's Swatch Fest, I included um, one of the polishes in there, the speckle one, the purple, but I picked up four other ones. So we'll talk about those. By the way, of course, if you've been with me for a while, all the polishes I show you, they should be showing up in Swatch Fest. That's why I have Swatch Fest, so that I actually wear and show, like, make myself wear the polishes, but then also I like to take pictures of everything that I can look at it later and like have it to reference too. So anyway, my crazy little brain. But I got, apparently I got a matte one because it has a rubberized top and this one is called Optimist and it's like this juicy, orangey, very yellowish orange polish. So I don't know if it's a matte or not, but 
why else would they put the rubberized top, right? So we'll have to see. Um, I picked up Noble, which is this awesome bright, bright blue. Um, I snatched this color called MILF because I just cannot help myself. <laughs> I'm sensing the theme on how I purchase my products. Yes, MILF is this awesome, <laughs> um, like dusty green. It's super, super cool. Actually, on the website, it looked uglier than this. But I really like this color, actually, now that it's in front of me. But I bought it anyway because it's called MILF. And then I bought this laser neon yellow, and it's called Rare. And I heard from a source, high source, that this is actually not that good. But maybe I'll put it in this swatch vest, too, because I need a yellow. And we'll see how it is. Okay, a few more things from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Got a couple better linen polishes. This one's called Sunbaker, and it is this awesome orange shimmer. Look, I have a lot of oranges, so I have lots of oranges for the next few swatch fests because lots of times I don't have orange. And then I have Fairy Cake. So I'm just barely starting to build my Butter London collection because um, I'm allowing myself once in a while to buy them at their $5 price tag at TJ Maxx. And Marshalls. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't probably have any of them. But if you don't know, you can find them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and give the brand a try and see if you like them. Otherwise, you pay something like 15 bucks for them, right? Unless you can find them on sale. I picked up a Triple Shine Sally Hansen because it was orange, and I promised you guys I was gonna look for some oranges, so I picked this up a few weeks ago. Um, and it's called Peach Party. So who knows how good that'll be, but I needed some more orange polish for Swatch Fest. I picked up um, a China Glaze polish called Going My Way, and this just looked too sexy for fall not to have. It's like this lustrous, chocolatey brown kind of, but it has the luster, so it has some shine with from within quality. A couple of spa rituals. This one's called Pattern. It's a gray with ooh, like this bright orange and gold flakies in there. Bright orange hexes and gold flakies. Um, so it looks like that, called Pattern. And then I found that they had my precious Oasis there, and I have it in the mini size. As you probably saw if you watched my NFL video, Tim featured this for, what was it? It was, it was for the Seahawks. Their, their colors. He thought Oasis fit pretty well for Seahawks. So anyway, when I found this in full size, I snatched it because I love that polish. It dries matte, but it has this awesome, beautiful shimmer. So top coat it and it looks gorgeous. Only one more polish. Only one more. Don't worry. It's a Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure Glitter. I know. Surprise, surprise. But this color is just gorgeous. It's like a bright, bright cherry. It's in a clear base has small glitters and larger hex glitters, and I thought it would be really nice to accent. Thank you, motorcycle. Really nice to accent um, for the holidays. I thought this would work out well. So, that wraps it up. Do I have anything else? Let me make sure, because I always find stuff afterwards. Doesn't look like I do. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was just kind of a hangout video today, kind of more like Swatch Fest, but I wanted to share all this stuff that I've been purchasing because I need to put it away, and I like to keep stuff out until I share with you um, because it just helps me stay more organized. So, anyway, I love you guys. I hope you're having a really great day. I um, hope you're going to have an even better weekend. I look forward to chatting with you some more tomorrow. And don't forget to watch my Zoya video because I didn't say in the title of the video, but it's actually a giveaway video, so if you watch that one and enter, um, I have a complete second set of the Zoya Matte Velvets. That's what I'm talking about when I say Zoya video. The Zoya Matte Velvet video from a few days ago, watch that and tell me in the comments which one is your favorite polish and I can choose your name and send you the entire collection, so don't forget to enter that. I love you guys so much. Have a great day and I will see you hopefully back tomorrow. Come back for Swatch Fest.